Okay. All right. So what we were going to talk about now is to adjust the historical price of a item. Okay. So I'm going to go into my item, uh, my report. I'm going to go to reports, sales, sales by item summary. Okay. And then you can see in this report, this is my historical sales by item summary. I'm going to look at what my uh, average cost of goods sold is, for example, for the event of this product here called salt. So it looks like my average product for the product called salt is $25. Now, I can change my historical cost on, on, on an item by making an adjustment. So, so that way, moving forward, every single item that I sell has uh, the new cost. So for example, for this particular item here called salt, if I go create a, a new invoice, I'll just do a new invoice now. I go to customers, create invoice. I'll pick any customer here and I'll select my item code here called salt. Okay. And um, let's say, for example, I sell it for whatever, for, for, for $15 each. Uh, my average cost in this case is going to come into 25 because that's my average historical cost. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go into my item list, list, item list, and then I'm going to look at salt again. Right click and click on edit. And then I'm going to see that my average cost is $25. So if I want my average cost to change moving forward, I would have to make what's called a value adjustment. So I would have to go into inventory, adjust quantity or value on hand, then select here where it says quantity, and then use not just quantity, quantity and value. And then I'll select my item here, salt. And then notice that my quantity is 78. So my new quantity is not going to change. It's still going to be 78. But when I hit tab, my new value now has to be recalculated. So let's say, for example, I want my historical cost to be $10. So I will multiply 78 times $10 and hit tab. This is now going to create a new value adjustment of 1,170, which will post on 1-15-2020 into cost of goods sold. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, save and close. And when I go back into my sales by item report, I notice that my historical cost is still is still $25 because all those transactions have, have posted before I made that adjustment. However, if I go into any of the transactions I've done before, like this invoice here, and I date this after the adjustment. So for example, I'm going to change it from 1215 to 1216. QuickBooks will now recalculate my cost of goods sold uh, based on that adjustment. So let me just go back into 12.15 here. And then what I'll do is I'm going to hit Control Y in my keyboard. And then I'm going to uh, go to uh, here where it says the debit and the credits. And I'm actually going to notice that my credit, which is how much I'm, I'm selling it for, is 5,500. And how much it's costing me is 2,500, right? Because it's, it's 100 units. It's, it's, it's easy. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. So I'm going to change the date. I'll bring it up one and then I hit save and I'll close this and then I'll go back into, I'll hit control Y again. I'll go back into my journal and you're going to see now that my new cost is different because QuickBooks is now recalculating cost based on that adjustment that I made the day before of lowering the cost from $25 to $15. So that's an extremely important concept to understand is the timing of how, when, when QuickBooks uh, recalculates the average cost of the units and the date of the invoice will vary in terms of uh, cost when it comes to that. So I'll go ahead and close that. When I go back into my item list and I right click on salt and click edit, um, we're going to see that my my cost is $10 and my sales price uh, is $15. However, down here, I have a new average cost, which in this case is $18, which was recalculated after I sold those items, after I made that forceful uh, calculation into the item.